Hey guys, this is Trent from None Up Clarity, and I want to talk to you today about being a man versus being yourself. So with the rise of a lot of like influencers out there that have many different ways of talking about who you should be in life, how you should act, should you be soft, should you be hard, we have like a thousands of different videos that talk about that. And when people want to start going on a self-improvement journey, it becomes a little dangerous because we get told many different things, many different ways of how to be the type of person we want to be or how you should act, this or that. They will say a lot, but the type of person you want to be is determined by yourself. And now by determined by yourself, it's more so like what you choose to be influenced by, whether it be the people, the buff dudes making the videos about uh, being super masculine and men are too soft, be the warriors, providers, protectors, do not be feminine in any sense of the word. Do not be like a woman at all. Or you have the people on the other side who are talking about men can be sensitive, men can be soft, men can be emotional. You know, men don't have to always have all masculine traits, stuff like that. Like both sides are opposing each other like, <laughs> like that. And the thing is about those influencers is that a lot of them will be doing it for clout, for money. Like when you think about it, when somebody makes five hundred dollars per thousand views and they have three million views it's probably easier for them to make a video about being a man saying like five things walking with a group of people and making that bag and no disrespect to their hustle like if you're making money make make your money but for the people that are watching it the people that look at them just be careful of what you ingest or what you choose to believe from those videos because it's easy to watch them and think, oh man, I'm not much of a man compared to these people. They're all buff and wealthy. And it's easy to start getting first motivated, but then all of a sudden you start feeling bad about yourself because these people are telling you that you shouldn't be like soft and you're just taking it. And with TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, any of these apps come a lot of influencers that spout a lot of this stuff to you that is while semi-motivational also semi-degrading because on one hand you have people tell you that you know men need to step up and be better men are great it's not a bad message but it's also like men can't be soft men cannot have any femininity at all in them which is also conflicting nowadays in society i'm not saying that men can be one or the other but it makes things really conflicted for somebody trying to figure out themselves. And it's like, I'm a man, I like this, but I also like this. It may be a little feminine, but it's cool to me. And it has to be a balance, but that balance is determined by you. Like, your balance for masculinity and femininity is honestly going to be different from everybody else's. There's no one way to be a man or to be a woman. Now, at the end of the day, again, you determine who you want to be, unless, like, you are like a rapist or a predator or an abuser or somebody who's out to just kill people that's out of spite. Like, unless you're one of those, you can be whatever the hell you want. Like, fuck what society has to say about you. Like, society is just, like, honestly toxic. <laughs> like, we look at all this stuff nowadays in the headlines and turn like, you know, oh, to be a man, you have to follow these 10 things every day. Like, no, it's not as simple as that. But speaking of simple, just take everything that, even what I say, with a grain of salt. Because with your journey of finding out who you are as a person, it's not going to be just as easy as be yourself, as we're told all the time. Be yourself or be a man or be a woman or be this, be that. Like, it's not that simple. And it's not that simple because with how society is nowadays, like it's not as straightforward as it was back in like the 1980s or before then, where men had one role, women had another role, and none of them converged at all. Like nowadays, people want to experiment with different things, and that's okay. But mental health's also on the rise, and pretty much I would say in a crisis because honestly. Mental health, like depression, different traumas and things, are spread wider than like COVID. 
But back to the other main point is that it's not easy to discover yourself in life, especially when you're dealing with depression, traumas, or just like bad breakups, anything that causes you grief, it's hard to get through it. And in my last video, I made one about overcoming a trauma as an adult and hell, like overcoming like teenage or childhood trauma, but even as adults, we have trauma. So, I mean, you know, it happens, but regardless, if you don't overcome what's causing you grief, then it'll become a lot harder next to impossible to start finding out who you want to be for yourself as a person. Not just as a man or a woman, but as a person in general. Because outside of what people keep telling you to be, you still have to determine what you want to be as a person. Like if you want to be the like nice goofy guy, be that way. But if you're pretending to be that nice goofy guy, instead of actually being that person, then you're only going to like feel good in the moment and then you get back home by yourself and you start feeling terrible. So going back to that last video, what it talks about in short is if you're dealing with like depression or trauma or things that are affecting you from the past, I definitely recommend to really self-reflect on why you're dealing with that issue whether it be something that started from your childhood that has become a habit now, whether it be like a parenting habit or whether it be something that you develop later on that's like, oh, it started here. Or something that you may even mistake made recently that you need to reflect on more to get better with. And the first step is finding out what that mistake is. And the next step is going through and taking initiative to overcome that. And that becomes one of the biggest hurdles for people because not all of us can simply just flip a switch and be like, oh, I just won't do it anymore. Like, fucking wish it was that easy. Like, mental health wouldn't be as bad as it was if it was that easy. Just flip a switch and it's like, bam, I'm not depressed anymore. Nice. But something I can recommend that I start doing for myself, not as consistently, but definitely something that's helped out is to start trying to journal. Write down your thoughts. Write down, like, things you think about why you're in a bad state of mind and think about where that comes from where those bad thoughts are coming from whether it be from you know your past something deep inside of you just keep on writing down things why you're having bad thoughts and eventually you may come to that conclusion of like oh this is why i think this way and then you can start just tackling it i'm not saying it works for everybody not everybody likes to write i mean my penmanship is terrible I can't, I can't barely read my own handwriting, but at the same time, sometimes writing it out does help. Another thing I can recommend is talking to people like your friends or your family, people that you trust, the real ones, the goats, the goats, but just people who you trust in your life to be able to share your secret with. Because if we just internalize it and keep going ahead, it becomes next to impossible. I'm not saying completely impossible. But becomes next to impossible to just keep it on our heads and think about like logic our way to getting better. Because unfortunately, with these traumas and depressions, there's unfortunately not a lot of logic that will outright solve. Of course, we know in our heads logically it's like, hey, I said they have to not think this way, and I'll be better. The brain doesn't work like that. The brain's gonna keep thinking those thoughts that make you sad, even though you know it's just just think about something else. And you try to, it just doesn't work. And so when you talk to somebody about it, it really helps alleviate the pressure that you have on yourself. Like just find somebody who you trust to talk to and start not internalizing it, but getting those thoughts out because it really does help. And lastly, I want to say is get some type of mental health therapy. There's a lot of options out there nowadays and a lot of people are against it understand so because not all therapists are created equal but it's definitely something that I recommend for people who are struggling who can't find a path forward and who can't simply just go to their family or friend because therapy at the end of the day is designed to help you out and help you get better and help you find that path forward that you know is an issue but you don't know how to get through it like therapists have done, I've heard therapists help you find like routines in life they give you plans, goals to set every single day, and this help you get on that path forward to getting better. And once you get better, you can start finding out who you are again. And once you find out who you are, 
you determine yourself whether you want to be, you know, a, a good man or a good person, whether you want to be soft or hard, whether you want to be a Spartan warrior, or whether you want to be a scientist or a masseuse. Like, there's no one thing that defines how a man is. There's no one thing that determines, like, men need to be this. Like, of course, men can be, can be providers, protectors, and people who have authority. Like, that's the type of man that I want to be, but also be able to still be soft and compassionate and be able to be sensitive, be emotional. Like, I'm, I know damn well I'm a mix of those two. And there's masculine and feminine traits in both, and that's okay. And if you want to be like that, cool. But make sure the person you're like, what a man you're like, or woman you're like, whoever you are, make sure it's who you agree to yourself that that's who you want to be as a person. Don't let society or influences determine who you want to be. Still, if you want to watch the videos, take little bits and pieces of like what you find interesting that you can add to your life, but you don't need to add every single thing they say to you as a person to create a fake persona. Like, still grow, still take advice, and still add what you want to add to yourself as a person. But make sure what you're adding to your life is for you to benefit you, that you agree that helps you in life. Not just some fake bullshit where you just walk up with your chest puffed out pretending to be somebody you're not. But once again, you determine the type of man or person you are in society. Society doesn't determine that for you, you determine it for yourself. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. It is Trent from No Nut Clarity. Hope this helped you out, because I'm still figuring out myself as a person too. I may have made progress, but trust me, I'm still on that path to finding myself. And the path sometimes never ends, but you never know when it's going to end. So just focus on the journey, not the destination, that age old saying. But again, this is Trent from No Nut Clarity. You have a good one. Peace. You could, I would say, I kind of like it.